Hello again. Welcome to this new Photoshop tutorial. This is what you will be learning. Please like the video, and let's get started. Step 1. Add the background. Let's start by creating a new document. Change width to 4.25, and height to 6.25, both in inches. Also, change resolution to 300 pixels per inch. And change color mode to CMYK. Then click Create. Press Ctrl plus 0 to zoom in. Here, I made a 4 ruler guides, at 3 millimeters in the 4 sides. You can skip this step for now. Now, let's import our background image. I always use Place Embedded, to import my images as smart objects. Now, right click and choose, Flip Horizontal. Adjust it as you like. Then press Enter. Now, create a new layer above. Name it, Source Light. Grab the brush tool. Then, change your color to a light yellow color like that. Then click OK. Select your layer, change your brush size, then paint like that. Now, change blend mode to overlay. Now, you can consider this as a light source, coming from the sun. And this is your light direction. Select both layers, and drag to group them. Name the group, background. Delete the background layer. And let's move to the next step. Step 2. Design the table. Now, let's import the table image. Double click to import it. Adjust size and position as you like. Grab the quick selection tool, and start selecting the table like this. Refine your selection as much as you can. Then, with your layer selected, make a mask out of your selection. As you can see, the table is now isolated. Press Ctrl plus T, to adjust its size and position like that. Now, select the background group. Then, import your second wood image. Adjust size and position like this. Grab the quick selection tool, then select this part only. With U layer selected, click on the mask icon. Now, create a new layer between the two layers. Name it Shadow. Pick a black brush tool. Decrease the brush opacity to 30%. Start painting like that, with a brush edge. This will add a 3D depth, to the created table. Now, let's adjust this layer tone, to match this one. Select your layer, and create a levels layer. Create a clipping mask. Then adjust levels values like that. Create a brightness and contrast layer. Create a clipping mask, and decrease both brightness and contrast like that. Create a solid color layer. Change color to black, then click OK. Right click and choose, create a clipping mask. Change blending mode to multiply and opacity to 30%. Select first layer, then hold shift, and select the last layer, to select them all. Drag and drop to group them. And name the group, table. Step 3. Add the main contents. 
Now, let's open the grass image. I want to hide the white color and keep the grass only. Best choice here is to use color range. Just click on the white color to select it and change fuzziness to 120. Then check invert. As we know, in masks, white color means show this area and black color means hide this area. Now click OK to make a selection. Then, with your layer selected, click on the mask icon. As you can see, the white color becomes invisible. But also, I need to hide this part. Pick any selection tool. Then select the part that you want to make invisible. Select the mask itself. Then pick the brush tool. Change its color to black. Then start painting inside your selection, to hide it like that. Now, drag and drop into your main document. Press Ctrl plus T, then, adjust both size and position like that. Select your grass layer, then create a levels layer above. Create a clipping mask, then adjust levels a little bit, to make the grass darker. Make a group from both layers. And name it, Grass. Drag that group, under the table group like that. You can press Ctrl plus T, then, adjust size and position if you want. Now, let's open the burger image. Now, I want to isolate the burger from the background. The best choice here for me, is to use the quick selection tool. Start making selection like that. Once you finish your selection, start refining the edges like this. You can switch between, the plus and minus selection tools, by holding the alt key. Let's speed things up. You can use any selection tool, or any method, it's up to you. After finishing your selection, click on the mask icon. Drag and drop the final layer, to your main document. Drag it to the top like this. Press Ctrl plus T, to adjust both size and position. Press Ctrl plus T again, then, right click and choose Flip Horizontal. This is to make the bright area, in the direction of the light like this. Now, let's open the drink image. Here, since we have a lot of details, I will use the magic eraser tool, to remove the white color, and the pen tool to remove the reflection. Now, pick the magic eraser tool, and change tolerance to 25. Now, click on the white color to remove it. To extract the cup only, I will make a quick selection around it, with the pen tool. Now. Start making a path like this. Please make sure that, you are drawing a path not a shape, from the options panel. Now, right click inside your path, and choose make selection. Select your layer, then, Make a mask out of your selection. Now, drag and drop your layer, into your main document. Press Ctrl plus T, and adjust size and position. With the previous technique, you can import the sign image, and the bird image like that. Now, let's add some text on the sign.
Start typing whatever you want. Change font to rogue font. Change font size to 20. Also, change line spacing to 18. Also, align text to the center. Make character spacing 20. Now click confirm. Now, let's make the text blended with the wood. Double click the layer, to open layer style. Under blending options, you will find blend if. For the underlying layer slider, increase the black value like that. Now, I'm telling Photoshop to hide parts from my text layer, where my underlying layers, has a gray value, less than my slider value. You can hold the Alt key, to split the slider, to smooth out the final blending result. Now click OK. Group both layers. And name the group sign. Now, let's add some shadow. Create a new layer under the three layers, and name it Shadow. Pick the brush tool, and change its color to black. Decrease the brush size, and decrease both opacity and flow. Now with your brush, start painting like that. This will add a general shadow to your objects. Decrease the brush size again, and make more shadow at the edges. Now, increase both brush opacity and flow. And with a brush edge, start making the contact shadow like this. You can press Ctrl plus C, to undo a step. You should make the glass shadow, less darker than the burger shadow. That's great. Let's group the four layers. Just select the top layer, then hold shift, and select the fourth layer, to select all of them. Let's move to the final step. Step 4. Text and Adjustments. I had made a text PSD file, for this particular flyer. You can download it from the description below. After opening it, drag and drop the text group, to your main document. Press Ctrl plus T and center it like that. You can check each group of text, for further understanding. I made this PSD to save your time, because adding text is very easy, and also is very time consuming. Now, let's add some adjustment layers. Select the top layer, then create a color balance layer. Adjust color values per each tone. Now, add a levels layer. Adjust all three sliders values like that. Add a gradient map layer. Choose this gradient. Then, change blend mode to linear dodge. Change opacity to 17%. Then group all three layers. And name the group, adjustments. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe for more flyers tutorials. Thanks for watching.